move on to theme number two, shall okay. we? Okay. So, this is really cool. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Carolise is doing good too. Oh yeah. She's great. Yeah. Everyone's got hey. lots of great questions about I'm everyone. So and I love that. Or so... she has time to help me. Carolisa. She's so oh, creative. She does a lot from us from, from home now. Yep. So yep. yep. And it's awesome. Yeah, it is wonderful because she's very creative. Um, hi Birdie. All right. So today we're going to dive into a few different things. Okay. Okay. So are we ready for this? Mm -hmm. So if you've been following me for the last few days, I've been talking about this movie night quilt that oh, we we're going to yeah. show. Yeah. And this was a pattern I designed, which is like super, super simple. Whatever. But it it's is. coming up with the ideas is well, hard. You know, I loved me. the popcorn fabric from Kimberbell. This mm -hmm. was from uh, Vintage Boardwalk. Oh, um, yeah. And I just fell in love with the popcorn because it's, let's show the popcorn. Um, it's got the popcorn and the Coke bottles. Here we go. See how cute that is? I just love it. And the ice cream cones and candy cotton. So super fun. So a lot of times when I am, especially when I'm getting ready to make um, something for like a gift, mm -hmm. um, I don't have a lot of time. Really? I know. Shocking. Shocking. shocking I know. Um, I don't. I want to, like, I love making beautiful, intricate mm -hmm. gifts, sometimes right? Sometimes it doesn't but need to be. sometimes I just don't, I, I need, just I need can't. to get it done. I just can't, right? And especially for my girls who just got married, they're starting their own families now. Um, they're, you know, do and they want a really intricately They want quilt? one that they could just wrap up in. And exactly. if they spill something on it, no they're not going to throw it in the wash, right? Yeah. We do love the the beautiful ones. And oh, this yes. is beautiful too, but well, no, not really. This one isn't beautiful. You guys be the judge of no, that. No, it's not beautiful. It's just it's just it's pretty. No, it's it's okay. <laughs> but Let me throw it anyway, on the okay, okay. <laughs> but well that's what that's what kind of quilt I needed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I needed a quilt that was just comfy cozy yeah. that you could throw on a couch and cuddle up and um, watch a movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there we go. That's my premise. Good job. So you did there it. we go. I did it. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so I created this movie night quilt and you know what I called it? What? I'm here for the popcorn. Oh, good job. <laughs> I'm here for the popcorn. And so kind of a, like a vintage, uh, not a vintage, like a cinema cinematic movie let's bring this over you can see both borders are just like that old-fashioned film that is strip. cool that okay? was a good idea an old-fashioned film strip because it doesn't and then, have to be overwhelming that it's a movie quilt exactly it mm -hmm. doesn't have to be beautifully pieced to yeah. have it be a movie quilt you that it. you just want to throw around and look how cute that fabric is because that's going to shine you know mm -hmm. show off the fabric now what i'm really excited about is that there's minky on the back Mm -hmm. Right. So that everybody makes wants it extra minky. comfy, cozy. Mm -hmm. My adult kids love, love, love Minky. Oh, my daughter and said, everybody else has a Minky blanket about me. I'm like, I gave you a Sherpa. Oh, wow. Well, it, you can make one of these in an Let's evening, see, yeah. Kyle, because it is that simple to do. So very, very simple. Yeah. Wendy says it's practical. Mm -hmm. So it shows that I've done a little bit of extra, mm -hmm. but I didn't like go over the top of making it crazy for mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm or for putting it all together. So you can actually finish this quilt in an evening. Nice. Uh, no kidding, it's that nice. fast to do, all right? So what I wanted to share today is how I make the film strip border. I will also say that what I'm gonna do with this, if any of you you know wanna go with this idea, how fun would it be to wrap this up, um, roll it up, put it with um, some, I, I ordered some popcorn um, little, what do you Containers call them? Containers that you can put your popcorn in. Yeah, to put your popcorn in, the old fashioned looking mm -hmm. with the red and white stripes. Yeah, like I it's ordered, got on here. Exactly, and I ordered those from Amazon, so those should be coming here in the next day or two. Um, and so I'm going to just give like some treats, some pop microwave popcorn, the little popcorn tins How fun. and this in a basket. So should be kind of fun. 
so Jess, if you're watching, Lori, oh, sorry, you know buddy. what one of your sorry. gifts are. All right. She doesn't so, care that she and knows. And I've like got that. to make this. No, <laughs> she's. Mm -hmm. She actually saw them come and sold and was so excited. <laughs> I'm like, I need that. I need that. I want that. I'm mm -hmm. glad Mom is making it for me, right? <laughs> so, um, oh, I love that. Sherry said, "Oh my, it would be cool to put pictures in the film strips." <gasps> yes, it would. That's That'd a cool really idea. great idea. I love that. Have we ever showed them how to transfer? I don't think we have. We should do that on a three at three. Shouldn't we should. We, we should that look that up. Really good. Okay. We'll get right on that. Chris. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. So we have a pattern available for you. And we'll talk about that during theme number three. So okay. you're starting out with some white rectangles. All of the measurements and everything are found in the pattern. Nice. Okay, so I'm not going to go through that right now. Um, and then you've got some long strips and then you have some wider, shorter strips. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this is the technique that I want to share with everyone today. So even if you're not doing this pattern, I want you to think about this differently. If you were doing any kind of you needed some kind of block border. that any kind of block that uses the same strip over and over and over again oh okay okay Repeat. yes instead of reap like if you've got a individually block instead of cutting things individually We're not this is this. how you um are i'm going to show you the technique of how do you do this quickly so quickly that you could have this quilt done from beginning to end in about two to three hours tops yes yeah, Tops. I could stay at past eight then and get it done. You could, yes. <laughs> yes, you could. So I'm going to, let's head over to over here. Okay. And maybe uh, some of you are already familiar with this technique. So it might not be anything new. That's okay. Um, yeah. What do you need? Okay, let's go ahead and place this right here. And we'll go right there. If it. you'll, yeah, perfect. Okay. So... The technique here is to take your centerpiece and you're going to lay it down. Let me get my quarter inch seam allowance going. Okay. You lay it down and then I'm going to take my long strip. Is that the sides? And I'm going to sew it onto the right side onto the right <laughs> side of this okay so i place this down now some people might think well why don't you put the strip down and then do this on top you could you certainly could do that i have found it to be much easier to really pull oh, so on this and then i i just pull these under so i'm going to go ahead and place the strip on top and notice i'm not even matching up at the top i'm letting that hang over and if I have my strips together here, where did my foot pedal go? Oh, let's see. Let me grab a foot pedal here. Oh, you want to grab that? Okay, let me grab my foot pedal. Well, I'm not seeing my foot pedal, so I'm going to go ahead and use the start stop button. Okay, this was originally set up for embroidery club today, so maybe the foot pedal is nowhere to be seen. So I'll go ahead and do this. I'm just going to sit and I'll stop it. And then I take my next piece. So it's almost like uh, it's almost like chain piecing, but it's just a little bit different. All I do is I lift this sashing strip up and then I place this underneath. Okay, so I just place it underneath, making sure that the strip is laying on top. Okay. Okay. And then lift up. Take that my makes next sense piece. to have that long piece because you you're manipulating that a little bit more than you are the it, yes the white. I'm I'm able to just kind of you're right Kyle absolutely I'm able to manipulate this exactly where I want it to go so then I just continue doing this and um, I don't have to have this butt up right against there 
I can go ahead and leave a little bit of space in between. So it's again, I take this, I'm lifting this up, pushing this under, pulling it down. And so. Now, when you do this, you can get quite a, quite a few of these blocks done. Again, lift up, take this piece, pull it under, bring this back down on top of itself. Notice there's no pinning um, and I'm just ready to go, okay? All right, so we'll just go that far for now, but you would end up doing this to all of your pieces, all right? And I'm gonna cut my threads. Okay, so now what am I left with? A cute little banner, ooh, ooh. <laughs> right? Really cute. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but let's pull this over and I'm going to grab my iron. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Okay, here we go. And See? then... I can actually press this all at one time too. Nice. Right? Grab that. There we go. All right. So lay it all out. And then with my iron, I'm going to set the seams. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just like we always do. So again, this just goes together so, so fast. And now I can open this up. And open this one up. And you're just finger pressing right now. Exactly. I'm just finger pressing. Okay, I'll just do three for now. Okay, so I'm just doing that finger press. Again, it's all one piece still. And now I can go back and press that seam out. Slick. <coughs> okay, so then what I'm going to do is grab my rotary cutter. <coughs> see. Can you grab a cough drop for me? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And I can now cut these apart. Let me get rid of that one. All right. So you see it's still all intact. Some water and I'll, oh, thank you. It's dry in here today. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to take a straight edge. It doesn't have to be any special ruler. I'm just needing a straight edge. And now I just trim to the edge. So I'm just sliding it down and sliding it down a little bit more. Have my pieces all cut. Oops. Now, where are you lining the lines up? I'm just lining it up along the okay. white side. Yeah. Okay. Good question. Okay. So now you can see that I have one side that is finished. Okay. One side that's finished. So you're going to do this to all of your film strip pieces. But now what you can do, I didn't catch that little bit. Now we can do the same thing again. We're repeating the, On the same other side. process. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to grab my strip. So again, I've got this long black piece here. And now I'm just going to put it in the opposite way. So this is going on the opposite side. Ooh. Okay, so I'm just going to pile these up. So those are rectangles. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. I'm going to pile these up. And then I'm going to, let's come just a little bit closer. There we go. Perfect. And I'm going to place this on top against that edge. Stop the machine, take my next one, bring this up, place this under. So can you see where this technique of 
going, it's going to help you with piecing anything, whether it's a film strip or anything else that you have. If you've got lots of the same strips, you can actually um, increase the speed of your piecing by doing this method. We're getting down to that uh, time crunch. <laughs> exactly. And it's going to increase your the speed of cutting, too, because if I were to individually have to cut each of these, then it would it, that would also take longer. So this just allows me to just lift up, bring down, lift up, bring down, lift up, bring down. And I never stop the machine to cut my threads. I'm only pausing that machine for just a minute to place my other piece in. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. Do you want to irritate me every time I stop it and cut the threads? Oh, I have to wait a second. <laughs> right. That two seconds is uh -huh. painful, isn't it? It's critical. Exactly. So now you're left with this. Nice. Okay. You're going to do the same thing, I'm finger press? Do, yep. So I have this laid out here. I'll take my iron, set my seams. Okay. And now I can finger press out. Nice. Finger press, finger press. Again, I haven't done any cutting yet. This is always one. And now I'll give it a better press. Okay. Like that. And now I can cut it once more. Again, I'm just taking a straight edge, it can be any straight edge, and I'm just lining it up against that white okay. rectangle. So, got a little extra here. Oops. Okay, I got one question. Go. I always worry about this when I'm cutting something. Okay. I lined it up on the edge, but mm -hmm. I also have the other line lined up on that. Is that something I need oh, to do? Absolutely. Actually, it's a really good idea to do that, Kyle, because then you can make sure you what you don't want is you could be lined up on the edge yeah. and still have it at an angle, mm -hmm. which wouldn't be uh, good, right? Right. So I think that is a great idea, Kyle, to go ahead, find a horizontal line on your ruler, match it up with that, and then that way you're ensured that it's going to be nice and straight. Okay. All right. So we've got two sides of this on. And now you just go back to your last side. Okay. So here. Oh, so now you can put them together. Exactly. But we need a we need another strip in between. So you could do one of a few things. You could cut your pieces, your your bigger pieces, and cut them to size, which wouldn't take long. Or you could also do this the, the strip idea. method of taking the strip. And now going the opposite way and then putting in the next one and putting in the next one and putting in the next one. Okay. So you can do it either way. If I wanted to, I certainly could have done this as a one big long strip and added this on. You with By doing this method, you would only do this method down one single time. Okay, oh, because yeah, on the opposite, them. you're joining them. So you don't need another piece. Otherwise, you end up with two, one yeah, piece here exactly. and one piece on the next one. Exactly. Yep. Bingo. So you don't want to do it on both sides, but you certainly could do that method, that same strip method, down one side, cut those apart. And then now, let me go ahead and just finish off one of these okay. real quick. I'm going to go ahead and bring this over here. Can they see that? Right there. Yep. And if it is exactly the same size, you just can trim it. Exactly. Yep. Okay. Okay. So you can see that that one is done. And then when you start adding these film strips together, don't add, a, you know, another black piece to no, this already to. made piece, right? So you're just simply going to add this to one side. And then you just continue it down. And you continue on down. Mm -hmm. That's 
And there you go. You're on your way. You are on your way. And then you'll press all that. Press all that. Then make sure it's the same size as your centerpiece, whatever you end up doing that at. And you've got a film strip border that was so easy to yeah. do. Yeah, right? I like that. So easy. And truly, you could get it done in just a few hours. Oh, yeah. So... I've done one. I've got another one to do. Um, How many are you making? Um, Just your married kids? I, you know what? I think I might make one for our family to have at home. Oh, too. yeah. Why not? So I'll probably make three of them, mm -hmm. I'm thinking. Are you sleeping uh, at all? No. <laughs> yeah, that email that we all got at two in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You could do the long sides first if you wanted to as well. It's totally up to mm -hmm. you. That's just the way I did mine. Okay. Yeah, it just makes a difference on where your seams are. Mm hmm It just makes a difference with where your seams are. Thanks, Judy. All right. Um, let's see. Did I quilt them as well? Connie's the whole, asking. The whole quilt is quilted. Yes. Mm hmm So, and I just had, um, I just had Lorraine do a, a simple meander. Yeah, That's a, all it it's is. It's a thrilled movie quilt. Exactly. I didn't want anything fancy. Um, oh. I didn't want it custom. I just wanted a simple meander. Now look at the back. Mm -hmm. You can see that, that meander there. So I know. Very, very comfy. So fast, easy, and a great way to present a gift. Put it mm -hmm. with some, some microwave popcorn. Maybe, have you seen those little um, popcorn bowls that like condensed down oh and then you put it in the microwave and it pops up no it's like you create your own microwave popcorn with real kernels and everything but anyway they have them at kitchen needs <gasps> any kind of there. yeah any kind of store like you that what i just saw today what's that caramel apples oh we we're talking about those at lunch I hope Ooh. everybody's made theirs. <laughs> yeah, from Doug. Mm -hmm. For sure. So anyway, um, yeah, you could put it with their favorite movies. That's a great idea, Elisa, for sure. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, really Patricia, a lot of fun. we're glad you're here. Go, go back and watch if you have a chance and mm -hmm. uh, see how easy it is to make this um, pieced uh, film strip border for a movie That's night. A cool quilt. idea. Thanks. All right, so that is all for theme number two. You ready for theme number three? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <laughs> 